Hey everybody, I'm Mike DiCepoli and welcome to the Heritage Market Minute for Monday, November 8th, 2021. We hope you had a great weekend. Uh, a couple things happened over the weekend we want to discuss with you here today. Obviously, impact on the market is significant. We had approval in the House of the infrastructure package, a $1 trillion infrastructure package being sent uh, to President Biden for him to sign that. Uh, this marks a change in approach here from the Democrats. They were trying to keep together a $1, a $1 trillion infrastructure package with a $1.75 trillion social safety net and climate package. Uh, but some of the moderate Democrats had opted uh, or preferred uh, for the Congressional Budget Office to review the social spending package before they would potentially vote for it. So they decided to split the bills up, passing the $1 trillion infrastructure bill obviously scaled down a lot from that big $3.2 trillion price tag uh, that we heard in the beginning. Uh, but this is good news for infrastructure and companies related to that. And it has the markets in an upward note, on an upbeat note here today. We continue through earnings season this week. We're starting to wind down. We have a lot of the major market components have already reported and the results have been very impressive. Uh, but we still have another couple weeks here ahead of us as far as this data and evaluating it to determine what the path is here for markets. We like what we see in this market. We have a lot of uh, confluence of a lot of positive factors. And really, when you look at this market backdrop, one by one, we have been knocking down the worries of the market, right, for quite some time. First, it was that August and September seasonality that many people were concerned with. Well, we brushed that aside. Then the big concern was the Federal Reserve, right? What was their policy annou announcement going to be? Were they going to throw cold water on this stock market party? Were they going to raise interest rates? Were they going to do something drastic that threw the market off course? That press conference came and went and the market has continued to rally. So now we have that concern out of the way as well. And then of course, congressional negotiations, where was that gonna land us with the social spending and infrastructure packages? What types of tax increases were going to be associated with those packages to pay for them? And at this point, it appears that a lot of the market's worst fears have not come to fruition. And if you notice a theme, right, that's something we talk about a lot with the markets. You get those headline reactions, those knee-jerk reactions where the markets assume the worst, and in the end, things turn out to be not as bad as we're once worried about. So the market now has a very clear path in front of us as we are in the best seven months of the year and also entering the best seven weeks of the year as we head towards year end. So we like when seasonality is the wind at our back and we think that will push this market higher. So again, this week, we're watching for a couple things. We're watching the continued rollout of earnings reports and see what those corporate profits and earnings look like. We'll watch to see any other progress in Congress on the social spending and climate side of this bill. Will there be any additional tax increases? Again, right now, it doesn't look like it, uh, but you know how things in Washington, D.C. work. They're fluid and they change every single day. Uh, later in the week, we will get an update on unemployment claims. We watch that each and every week to see kind of a more near-term look at the labor markets to see are we seeing that job growth and those wage increases that we hope to see. Other big news over the weekend uh, came from Elon Musk and Tesla. He put out a Twitter poll uh, asking people or investors and, and any participants really on Twitter if he should sell a portion a portion of his Tesla stock because there's been a lot of talk recently about how these billionaires don't pay any taxes on the unrealized portion of their capital gains. So again, I don't know if this is a ruse or, or if this is some kind of a joke. It appears that the Twitter results would suggest that yes, Elon will sell 10% uh, of his Tesla stock, which you know, given the price on any given day amounts to somewhere between 20 and $30 billion. So again, not a huge block of stock being sold for a trillion plus dollar publicly traded company. But we bring this up, not, not as investors of Tesla, but just something that it, it bears watching the power of social media and how it is incorporated into many aspects of our life and, and here uh, putting Wall Street squarely in the center of that with him using this platform uh, to generate some feedback on what he should do with his privately held shares. So again, that's all we have for today. If you have any questions, reach out to us. We're always here to talk to you about the things that matter with your money. We'll be back on Friday for the Heritage Market Pulse to wrap up this week's activity. Have a great day and we will see you then.